All right, so Dustin has a big problem here. His freezer is only three quarters of the way full, and we need to get it fully full. So, we brought the spear guns today. Oh, boys. We're gonna go see if we can't find some big sheep's head, mangrove snapper, and honestly, we're out of some new rock piles that I found just the other day. I don't know what we're gonna find out here, but we're gonna figure it out really quick. So Dustin's getting suited up right now. He's got 10 times more experience spearfishing than I do. I have probably zero. I've, I might have done it one time, but not really. So he's gonna jump in. We're gonna put the GoPro on him and we're gonna see what he finds. Dustin is the new men in black. Hey, Scoob Steve. <laughs> <laughs> All you, Bubba. All right, so we just made a move back in shore. Dustin didn't really see much other than a couple poor geese and maybe a small gag or so. So we made our way back in shore and he's about to be poking around these docks here to see if we can get those sheep's head or mangroves that we want. There goes the beluga whale. What'd he get? Oh, he got something. He got sheeps. <laughs> Ooh, sheepers. He got the sheeps. Nice. <laughs> I swam in their school just swimming at him. I I'm saw like, oh, you turn okay. fast. <laughs> I'm like, we can do it this way. Nice. Okay. <sighs> I'm just going to toss it in the boat. I'll let you put him in the cooler. Okay. So guys, what happened there is I was literally swimming over to the dock and a school of sheep's head literally swam right by me. Not a bad one for the first one of the day. I want to go shoot another one. Awesome. I got another nice little bit, not a bad sheep said y'all. We're gonna make our way down to some different docks and uh, see what we can't do. Another legal sheep said y'all. In the box. Actually, look how much bigger the sheep said one. Heard of those one we just got. Big freaking difference. But, let's meet the elite. Now we're gonna move down. We're gonna check some docks down this way a little farther. The size of the fish weren't really, they were iffy, so I passed a bunch of sheep's head up that probably would have been legal, but why uh, shoot just a barely legal fish when you can shoot one that's definitely legal? So, we got overcast right now, which is kind of messing up the visibility a little bit, but we'll make it happen. Man? Yep. Dustin's got another one here. Jesus, you feel like you're forever away. <laughs> killing me, small. It's killing me. I'm fat. Remember that. <laughs> Let's see what you got. I got a shoe Oh, yeah. Not a bad one. 
Another one to add to the box. <laughs> it's a boxer. Another legal sheep, guys. Looks like he's about, eh, about 13. In the box he goes. All right, guys, so quick update for you. Dustin's finishing up with this last dog here. We got four sheep set in the box and a little mackerel that I caught. Didn't get on camera, but he's going to the box too. So once he finishes up at this dock, he's gonna jump back in the boat. We're gonna shoot over to a different spot, see if we can get on some more. So uh, we're definitely gonna go shoot some sheep's head in like three feet of water right now. Yes, I'm walking on the bottom with my fins right now and we're spearfishing with the power poles down on the boat. That's how we roll. Changing it up a little bit. Put the, put the uh, spear gun away. I'm gonna go old school on them with pole spears. I'll see you guys in a minute with a fish. <laughs> so we are at spot number three here. It's pretty shallow, good oyster bar we're fishing right now. Well, I guess spearing right now. But Dustin's jumping in with the pole spear. He's gonna look around and see if there's any more sheep's head. And we're gonna keep continuing, put them in the box, and hopefully we get this two-man limit. So Dustin just got back with the pole spear and he said there is a bunch of good sized sheep's head, some over 20 inches. So I just gave him the actual spear gun, I put the GoPro on, and we're gonna shoot over to his view. guys I had the pole spear in my hand and uh, I got over there and I was like nope there's too many big sheep's head for me to deal with the pole spear so came back to the boat got the spear gun and shot him nice sheeps there boy not gonna complain about that and there's some that are even bigger than him yet over there oh that's a good one Okay, I'm gonna reload and go grab another one. I'm gonna have Brandon move the boat a little closer so I don't have such long swim to back to drop him off. But yeah, we're gonna go get some more. Back again from the market. <laughs> nice. Getting the meat. Not Getting a terrible meat. one. Getting the meat. <sighs> nice. Bring it on in there, Beluga. 
<laughs> oh god. All right, guys. Dustin just got his limit. We got eight in the box right now with this one including. So one more limit, and we're good to go. It's another nice one for the box, y'all. I literally just got done letting that one go. Well, not go, but put it in the boat. And I literally turned around and swam probably, what do you think? 30 maybe, feet? Maybe 10 yards, maybe. <laughs> and uh, there was him sitting there. I was actually going to shoot a little bit smaller one than I seen. And then I glanced up and seen him coming just bulldogging right for me. And I'm like, oh, you're mine. And he, then he turned right sideways. I'm like, yep, you're it. Boop. This one's actually missing a chunk of his tail. Look at that. Good eats. Stop it. We're going to fist fight. I'm kind of glad we decided to do this instead of trying to fish because that would have sucked. <laughs> That's eight sheeps, yo. All right, Dustin just finished getting his limit now. I'm going to try to go in and get one. I've never speared nothing and not the best swimmer in the world, so it should be pretty entertaining. But if I can get at least one keeper in the box, I'll be happy today. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. We got one, boys. <laughs> Little fishy. Uh, all right, guys. Second keeper sheeps with a spearhead. Spear gun. <laughs> spear gun. <laughs> uh, uh. So I seen him. He was he was on the back side of this big rock, and he just tucked in real, real close to it. I waited until he nudged out just a little bit, and I just shot him. We didn't get it on the GoPro because it died. But second keeper of the day, first time for me spear fishing, and. I think, I think Dustin put me on a new hobby. <laughs> While we were jacking docks and stuff, there's a big spade fish swimming around, which is just basically an angel fish on steroids. And I'm like, Brandon, shoot that stupid thing. And he's like, I can't, I keep swimming away from it, I can't find it. So we rounded the corner, he's like, he sees it, he pulls it to shoot it, and it disappears. He turns back around, and I'm holding it. <laughs> <laughs> I ended up shooting it <laughs> with a pole spear. So, yeah, they're pretty good eating, you know. Make good food in the box. All right, guys, so we just counted the sheep that we have. We have 14 in the box right now, so we need two more to make a two-man limit. Dustin jumped back in the water here, and he's about to grab those two up. And we're going to call it a day. Mission successful. I mean, we basically did this because of how the stores are running out of meat. You know, people are going crazy buying up stuff because of the coronavirus. And the ocean still has meat. You just got to know how to get it. Dude, that's not a bad one. Nope. 
That would be the last one of the day, guys. Last one for the two-man limit. Look at that. Nice. This makes our two-man limit. Whee. Yep, not a bad one. Oh. Oh. Alright guys, so today we are using a AB Biller 48 Special. It's just basically a standard. You can basically go to the store and pick this gun up the way it is right now. Works great. Uh, just because I haven't been doing a lot of spear fishing in the last few years. Oh, I haven't ever upgraded my gun. But, works great. As you can see, we did our limit of sheep's head today. Uh, absolutely love this gun. I would definitely recommend it to anybody but it's a little long for this shallow water stuff this was designed mainly for a little bit deeper water gun but it's a worked great for us today and then i had just a pair of i was using i don't even remember the name brand mask i had because i've had it for eight nine years and then i was using a pair of cheap free dive fins i got off ebay for like 45 bucks nothing too high tech and special you can come out here and do it with a pole spear. I was shooting with a cheap $30 pole spear from a dive shop too the other day, today. So, you know, if this is something you guys want to get into, make sure you guys go with somebody that's done it before. You know, it's, there is dangerous times. There is a lot of dangerous times with it. And, you know, if you don't know what you're doing, I don't recommend it unless you go with somebody that knows what they're doing. That's why Brandon felt more comfortable because I've literally been doing it for quite a few years. All right, guys, so that's going to wrap up our day for us. We got our two-man limit. I only put two in the box. Dustin put 14, but he also has years and years and years of experience on me, so it's all right. It's just a learning curve. He'll get there eventually. <laughs> so we got a lot of cleaning the fish to do. We got to get the boat clean. And if you guys like this video, be sure to hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you guys are subscribed. And until then, we'll see you on that next one.